Hi, it's Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo, the lab at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. It's day 376 of our Be Creative series. I was out here in the garage tonight working on a little project and I had some, some drywall screws and I thought, dang, that's a cool shot. So come on in, I've got the macro lens on here. And you remember when you're viewing through a camera, whether it's an SLR or mirrorless, we're viewing with the lens wide open. So I've set F32 ISO 400. I'm going to focus right here. There's the picture. Take a look at that. So that's an F32. I've got some of the screws in the back in focus. F32. Now let me go down to F16. And it's a little less focused, right? So somewhere between there is where I'm going to want the picture. Let's take a look at how I set this up. Come on around. So you can see the one screw held in the vise here. So this is just a drywall screw, right? So here I'm about four inches away from the front of the lens. I've got the 105 macro lens with the FTZ adapter and the extension tubes on the Z7 II body. And then I put an old cake pan in the background because it's gray and threw some of the other screws on it. I've got the Savage 12 by 12 light giving side light to the screws in the background and the Lytra Pro giving the light to the screw in the front. Now, generally you don't try to do that because the light is mismatched. The main light is coming from here, the other light's coming from there, but I really liked the look of this. I really liked the drama created. So that's what we did. We're kind of like screwing around in the garage with some tools and getting out the macro lens. Makes me ready, getting me ready for the macro class starting in April. It's going to be tons of fun where we're going to explore close-up photography like this. And I just love this. Come take a look, Cheryl, as I do this, right? So I focus there. Or if I switch to manual focus, right? So now I can see what happens when I focus closer and farther away, right? How that works. You see the red from the focus peaking? So I'll bring that right back and see how it comes right up the screw right there where I want it, right there. Bam! And now I'm going to shoot one at F8. I'm going to open the lens. Many of you don't think F8 is open, but in macro photography it's pretty wide open. Look at that, right? It's just a very soft ethereal background. It's up to you. Be creative. Do something different. Have some fun. Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo, the lab at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. What are you going to do today to be creative?